Uh, Portal Combat's here, and the Texas Longhorns have scored on the defensive line. That's right. Texas Longhorns have secured a commitment from graduate transfer and Arizona transfer, Bill Norton. Uh, Norton was a starter on the Wildcats defense last year uh, for a team that won seven games in a row to end the season, uh, finished number 25 uh, in the nation in run defense, joins a former teammate now at Texas. Both of those guys played for Johnny Nansen. I'm Jerry Hamilton. That's C.J. Vogel. Uh, C.J., what's Texas getting in Bill Norton? Yeah, they're getting a, a big body that plays over the A-gap more so than anywhere else on the offensive line, which is very important right now with the construction of that Texas defensive line group on campus at the moment. Uh, again, he played probably around 350 snaps a year ago. 170 of them were lined up over the A-gap. That's very important because right now you look at what Texas had uh, a year ago. You had 114 from Byron Murphy. You had 66 from Troll Carter. You had 52 from Tavondre Sweat. So a lot of snaps where Texas is needing a body in that group, not necessarily having them on campus at the moment. The, the most snaps in that A-gap from a guy returning on campus – Aaron Bryant with eight. So they're getting a big guy that is able to uh, fit the run needs that Texas needs. Kind of that anchor in the interior defensive line that Texas had a year ago with Byron Murphy, Tavondre Sweat, and Troll Carter. Now you're getting an able body at 6'6", 325 that can play alongside Tia Savea and really kind of complement that A and B gap uh, look that Texas gives so often. A big body that, again, Texas needs and continue to add depth at right now. We'll see him on the field very often uh, in 2024. And Bill Norton, for those that aren't familiar, he began his career with Georgia, played there four years, uh, sparingly had an injury one year, transferred to Arizona before the 23 season. So a guy that's played uh, in the SEC, he had 12 total tackles at Georgia. But when I say play in the SEC, he lined up every day in practice against all NFL guys at Georgia on the offensive line. He's used to playing against large humans, right? Yeah. And to CJ's point, what Bill Norton brings is an experienced adult in the room over the ball. That we aren't riding off. Sadir Mitchell or Aaron Bryant, who Jake Majors talked about, right? But or or Alex Daniel, who's a freshman. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about Texas needs to add two defensive linemen in the portal, two adult, experienced players that have, have been through the wars on the defensive front uh, that have played at the Power Five level extensively. And as CJ said, Bill Norton's one of those guys with 170 a gap snaps, uh, dating back to high school. CJ, something interesting on uh, Bill Norton. Uh, any guesses? On who recruited him to Georgia out of high school? Well, you told me earlier, and it's a big name, so I'll let you finish it here. It, it, I mean, it's a guy that knows defense. I'll say that. Dan Lanning was Dan Lanning and Trey Scott. Dan Lanning was the key, uh, the primary recruiter of uh, Bill Norton. Bill Norton came out of Christian Brothers High School in Memphis, Tennessee area, top 100, 200 type kid in the country, four star ranked guy, 6'6, 275 pounds. Defensive end, five technique at the time, turned uh, interior defensive lineman, uh, A-gap player. Well, some people thought he'd end up being an offensive lineman long-term, but he wanted to play defense. He stuck at defense at Georgia and obviously went on to have a really good year for a top 25 Arizona team. But recruited out of high school by Dan Lanning and Trey Scott to Georgia. Obviously, Kirby Smart, the head coach there. But just funny how you look back on timelines, especially these six-year guys, CJ. Right. I mean. These six-year guys were recruited by many guys who are now head coaches in the college game. But, again, Bill Norton, um, he brings something that Texas truly needs right now, especially after assessing spring practice. Yeah, and I, I wanted to touch on – he's going to be a six-year guy. You know, this will be his last go-around for college football. So there's going to be a little bit of hunger there. And there's going to be a little bit of hunger elsewhere in this Texas defensive line room. Of course, Alfred Collins, this is a contract year for him. Uh, Tia Savea, Alfred Collins, guys that have been around the block a number of times already in their, uh, their college playing days. So to add a guy who sees this as a last opportunity to make yeah. an impact to before, you know, eventual pro – football playing career, there's going to be a lot at stake. And there's going to be a lot of, I don't want to call it pressure, but I would say a desire or fire for these guys to really kind of understand, all right, if I'm going to achieve my dreams of playing in the NFL, this has to be the year. I have to be completely bought in. There can't be another, uh, oh, I'll get it next year kind of attitude because this is the last chance. So I, I like that. 
And I'm not saying this is going to be the ending uh, piece for the Texas Longhorns with the defensive line group. I do think they need to add another piece after Bill Norton. Yeah. But I do believe that if you're going to go out and add another body to this group, the opportunity to do so with a guy who sees this as a, a, a one final chance to go out there and put good tape on the field, I like that a lot. Plus, you mentioned the experience uh, has played – or appeared in uh, on the field uh, in all five of his previous seasons, something that I think is very important as well. Yeah, and, and here's the here's the other thing about Bill Norton. Bill Norton's not a flash player, right? He he is a technician player that's right. going to play over the ball. And why that's important for Texas is the edge is going to be the strength. Last year, the interior was the strength. In 2024, the edge is going to be the strength. And if you really believe in your Texas, and I 100% believe Texas is correct, that Trey Moore and um, and Colin Simmons are going to give you more of a edge presence rushing the quarterback. That BGO plus Ethan Burke is a junior, Baron Sorrell is a senior, other guys like Justice Finkley, a year older in the program. But the the impact of Trey Moore and Colin Simmons off the edge, Texas doesn't have to have necessarily a playmaker at the A gap. They don't have to be as strong at that position in terms of playmaking as they were last year. But what they have to have is somebody who requires two blockers at times, who's a big body, who is hard to move off the yes. line of scrimmage. And that is what Bill Norton will provide. So don't expect the big stats, but no. expect this. He's taking two blockers and he's going to occupy people and let your edges go and let you maybe hopefully let your linebackers run free a little bit more which i think it's exactly the, the the way this texas defensive line front is shaping up to be of course it's always a luxury if you're getting pressure from the interior it's never truly the expectation unless you have a byron murphy right like that that's the kind of guy a first round guy on the interior that really sets the tone in the pass rush from the middle most of the times you're expecting that off the edge or a blitz from your linebacker which Texas now has a lot of speed in that group, and we know what they've had uh, or they're going to have in 2024 off the edge. That's great. You're not really expecting a whole lot of that out of your interior, guys. Alfred Collins will flash every now and then. Vernon Broughton over his career has shown sometimes to be a guy that can get after the quarterback. That's not the strengths of their game. Like you said, Jerry, the strength there, what Texas is needing from a, a Tia Savea or a Bill Norton is, yeah, Put your knee in the ground when you're getting double teamed and, and let the linebackers behind you go make the play. And we've talked about it all spring. Right now, the strength of that linebacking group right now is their speed. It's their quickness and it's their ability to get downhill and go make plays in the run game. Anthony Hill, David Benda, two of, uh, I would say, probably the most athletic guys in that front seven. Uh, so it's it's really interesting. This also allows guys like Aaron Bryant, Dre Bloodsoe, and Alex January more specifically uh, to start blossoming behind the scenes without being thrown into the fire too quickly uh, and start, you know, kind of worrying about the player's confidence and, and everything that goes on behind the scenes there. So uh, Bill Norton again, uh, and you go back and look at what Arizona did the second half of the year, specifically in the bowl game against Oklahoma, where they didn't allow any type of run game to establish. It changes everything from a defensive perspective and really allows you to pin your ears back and come after the quarterback or just know that, hey, if they're going to move the ball, it's going to be through the air, which, you know, it causes issues more times than it doesn't if that's the game plan. Again, the reset, Bill Norton, uh, Arizona transfer via Georgia, via Christian Brothers in high school out of Memphis, has committed to the University of Texas out of the transfer portal. A graduate student will be entering his sixth year. He brings Texas size, SEC size in the A-gap with experience. Uh, just a little bit more on his stats. Uh, CJ said 48% uh, of his snaps came from the A-gap last year. He had 32 tackles, two and a half tackles for loss, two forced fumbled. Uh, career best six tackles versus Utah. Very physical game against the Utes, and uh, Bill Norton answered that physical bell. Uh, Arizona finished 25th in the nation in pass rush defense, and the two starting D tackles on that team are both now at Texas and Savea and Bill Norton. So, again, uh, portals open. <clears throat> uh, Texas strikes with a little portal combat out of the gate. Bill Norton commits to the University of Texas. Texas still needs another defensive lineman. We do not believe Texas is done. They may also look at punter. We'll see if another position uh, uh, cr crops up here on Texas. But right now it's an interior D line and it's portal. But Texas gets a, a key guy for the 24 season today in Bill Norton, 6'6", 325, uh, for, played four years at Georgia, 
then one year at Arizona, and we'll be reunited with Johnny Nansen and Savea for the Texas Longhorns. For C.J. Vogel, I'm Jerry Hamilton. You've been listening to On Texas Football. Hey, by the way, ontexasfootball.com. Come be an OTF OG. Come be an OG here as we kick off on texasfootball.com. $39.95 for one year to be an OTF OG. We've had hundreds and hundreds uh, subscribe already, and we look forward to uh, making the community a lot of fun with all you guys. Uh, for CJ, I'm Jerry. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see Bill Horton, Bill Norton, I should say, in a Texas uniform here in a couple of months.